Hello, multiple meaning masters. We just had a nice PowerPoint and lesson on what multiple meaning words are. They are words with more than one meaning. Multiple means more than one, just like multiplication. So we're gonna do a little practice today with your practice page, and then you'll have a discussion post at the end. So let me share screen our page, and we'll go through several together, and then you will be responsible for some on your own. So I'm just gonna fold this in half so you can see it better. Oops. Okay. All right, so let's start off with number one. And what we're going to do, the directions say circle the meaning of the underlying word. So we're going to use clues, our context clues, to figure out which meaning it is. Susie tried to swap the fly with her shoe. An insect is a noun, and to move through the air, we did this one together, that's a verb. Susie tried to swap the fly with her shoe. The word the tells me this is a noun. So let's see, Susie tried to swap the insect with her shoe. Yep, and our clues there, swap and her shoe. So our answer would be insect. I'll just go down this way since I've got it folded here. Number three, the dog likes to bark at strangers. Is that outside of a tree or the sound a dark dog makes? Okay. The outside of a tree is a noun. It's a thing, you can touch it. The sound a dog makes would be a verb. It's something that he's doing. The dog likes to bark at strangers. Is he doing something on the outside of a tree? No, he's barking. We've got a dog is our clue. And at strangers, I'm sure you've all heard and seen if your dogs probably, if you have dogs, do that too when someone walks by. So that would be the dog is liking to bark. So our verbs match. Carla kicked the soccer ball with her left foot. Okay, so she's kicking it. She's kicking a soccer ball. So that would be our clues there. 12 inches, that's a ruler. She kicking it with a ruler? That's a thing, it's a noun. A part of your body is a noun too. So they're both nouns. Let's see, she's kicking the soccer ball with, an in, uh, with a ruler or a part of her body? A part of her body. Again, you gotta use your clues in the sentence to figure out what the meaning it has. And number seven, the punch at the birthday party was delicious. Okay, a fruit flavored drink. That's a noun, it's a thing, you can touch it. To hit something, that's a verb, it's an action. The punch at the birthday party, something was delicious. Was it hitting something or the fruit flavored drink? The tells me this is a noun, it's a thing. Fruit flavored drink. The punch wasn't hitting anything, okay? Number nine is a DP. We'll come to that at the end. All right, let's keep going. The Davis family, hi Davis boys. The Davis family took a trip to Hawaii to stumble and fall. That's a verb, that's an action, right? A vacation is a noun, it's a thing. The Davis family took a trip to Hawaii. That's our clue there, Hawaii, it's a place, which means they didn't stumble and fall there. Hawaii trip is the vacation. See, this isn't too bad, is it? Using your clues. She answered all of the questions right on the test. Opposite of left. Um, guess that's a noun, it's a thing. And if it's correct, it's a thing also. She answered all of the questions, there's our clues, right on the test. Did she answer them opposite of right? Did she answer, answer them left? Or did she answer them correct? She answered them correct. The test was very hard. Does that mean opposite of soft or difficult? These are actually kind of adverbs, but we haven't learned about those, so we're not gonna worry about it. Same with up here. The test was very hard. So it's a test is our clue. 
Was the test opposite of soft? Was it difficult? Yep. There's our winner. Okay, so hopefully you've got the hang of your multiple meaning words. Eight, nine, and 10 are your three DPs, okay? Eight, nine, and 10. You don't have to type in the clues unless you want. You just type in the answer, which phrase matches the underlying word, and you should be good to go. After that, if your parents think you need a little bit more practice, you ha have a, an optional your turn book page. I put the page number in Schoology. You don't have to do it, but if your parents want you to have some more practice and have something else to do, you may certainly do that, okay? Eight, nine, 10 are your discussion posts and you just type in the phrase of the correct answer that matches the underlined word. And you have become a multiple meaning word. Member.